that those high temperatures and very little rain are taking a toll on the crops in our area. In fact, at least one Lamb County farmer is having to abandon fields because of the weather this summer. KCBD News Channel 11's Patricia Perry shows us the current crop conditions to explain how this scorching heat is impacting the farmer. Ricky Yantis was able to plant some cotton and it was growing well for a while. Every seed I had came up because of the rains and the moisture in the ground. Then it stopped raining and the triple digit temperatures came. It's gone to the burning up, it's even turning brown and I've never seen that before. Now Yantis is left with a field that should be green looking like this leading to a total loss. He has some dry land cotton hanging on, but without rain soon, he expects that will have the same outcome. If we go another week in this area without a rain, we're going to be, I hate to use this analogy, but we're going to be toast. Not only is he dealing with drought and high temperatures damaging his cotton crop, other storms also came in and affected his milo and corn. When we got six tents on this farm and got it plummeted, just just totally beat down, stripped the leaves. Very little rain came with hail and high winds that damaged this corn, making it also a total loss. This wasn't the summer to do this. Unlike the cotton, this cornfield wasn't insured. Yantis made that decision because it was contracted to go to a local dairy. Typically, it's hard to collect hail insurance on corn, uh, but this time would have been a good time to have it. He made the decision to abandon the crop because he doubts it will turn around. I do see some tassels trying to come out, but there's no there's no ear coming in the bottom, and it's it's just not going to pollinate because of the surface below it. He says no matter what he's tried, it's had the same outcome. I was putting on all I had, but I just didn't have enough water to keep up with the drought. He hopes to harvest his irrigated cotton acres and some of his dry land, but will lose a lot of acres because of weather. Patricia Perry, KCBD News Channel 11.